Hey everyone, this is a game called Elephants, which is a wordless abstract puzzle game about language, but it plays more like a um, Sokoban, aka block moving puzzle game with these symbols and circles. With some pretty unique rules about linking up symbols together. The footage from most of this video is a pre release beta, so some things have changed, but this is a 100% uh, video of the first two worlds, except for the conversation part that I didn't figure out. But anyway, enjoy the video. Alright, so this is a game called Elephant, which is a game about learning the properties of words. So apparently, Alex the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. That's that what's that's what the symbol is, and it's silent, but it has these modifiers that can create different sounds. And so this is like sort of a sound-based game with uh, unknown mechanics uh, or rule discovery rather. So unfortunately, we do have uh, seems like it's going to be a minute before we get to the gameplay. Uh, but I think this one is showing some interaction here. Okay, there's like variant uh, flip versions of that. I guess is what that's... Okay. Well. That's what, you, that's what happens when you can only uh, say one letter. Very nice. Alright, so. I can stand on that, maybe? Let's see. Okay, so if that thing is adjacent to an Aleph, we can turn it green and then stand on it to win. It needs to be against the wall, maybe? Okay, inside a corner. Not sure there's a difference between the two symbols. I did not pay that much attention to what they look like. If there's going to be any cell differences in symbols, what is going on here? Why is this push and move it? I mean, it's to the side, but that's weird. That is a very strange level to come after the second. Hmm. He's, that Alice also moving. Hmm. That turned on. This one is also like diagonal, which is strange. Oh, okay. I'm definitely stuck if I do that. Hmm. How do I get a diagonal in the first place? What? Hold on. Like, is it? It's looking at me when I move it. That's. Huh. Notice that this turns to face me, so I'm just gonna make it vertical. There we go. Wow. Now that is... That's very strange. So again, this one is already on. I cannot move it away. How do I move this out? It's stuck at the... It's stuck in the corner, so... Oh, but... Hmm. But I can move it... Maybe I just make, maybe make it face left or something? Like that! There we go. And can continually activate this and then have a turn. Okay. Next is F. Um it turns to look at me, not anything else, so. But, hmm. I'm not really satisfied because obviously this is not looking directly up and above there. So, not really sure what to do there. I'm gonna do... Oh, wait! Oh, no, 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 I... So, if they're green, because both of them are set to be green now, so I guess it just doesn't move if it's green. But if it's red, it will move. Okay. Well, we got a bunch of these side levels here. Is there a G? Yes, there is. Here we go. Multi-push is available, but it will stick to the first one, I guess. Still sticks. Hmm. Also this. Which can, in theory, do something. I can switch them around, but really that's not what I want to do. How do I get the other one past it? Because, like, this is causing some issues. Maybe I displace both of them like that, and now they're not going to actually face the right direction. 
Okay. Now this one is facing the right way. Um, and then I switch this back to vertical. And now both of them are vertically, uh, are looking vertically, so I can just press both of these and win. Okay. I do wonder if there's any, uh, even bigger side effects or side cases. So that will stick, but again, while it's sticky like this, I can't make it move or anything like that, so it's not. Hmm. Well, I mean, I, I do want to get this away. Do I... Diagonal's not work. This will be facing that way. Um, it will always look at me. And yet I can't seem to... Like, what direction is it going to go? Maybe down? Maybe looking down is good here? Okay, there we go. Th that's, that's L. Whoops. Okay, next. So. Okay, now we have these two. The one of them is stuck forever-ish in there, I guess. So, when we do that, it needs to be like... Well, no, because... Don't we have to push one? I guess the other... I guess this one is pushing the other one. That's the only way this could possibly work. Let's put this away. And there we go. Wait, it didn't... Hmm. I want to get it down, but that's not going to happen. And when it sits stuck, I don't believe it could ever get unstuck. Overlap things, though. Oh, whoa, whoa, wow, okay. That was... That's very interesting, can do that. Okay, and, and then, uh... Does that mean that I get it set, uh, set completely horizontal? There's still an issue, though. I know, like, it's interesting that it's diagonal. I'm not sure if there's going to be a level that really uses this well. But, I mean, I think it has to be adjacent. And I have not checked if, like... Let's say that one was perfectly 45 degrees diagonal. I haven't checked if that works, but that's something I could expect to happen. But so far, we've only done an adjacent. It's interesting there's some moves that, like, like bring up the undo and restart. I'm not sure if it actually means that I can still win from this position, but I actually have having quite some trouble. I started, like, for four minutes. Not really sure what to do. Okay, wow, did I get stuck on that. <laughs> it's, it's just... You just push it there. It wasn't supposed to be a hard level. <laughs> okay. Anyway, it's the difference between green and yellow, or the yellowish color when something has been triggered. It's just, I don't ever trigger it. I just keep it stuck there. Anyway, where is Jay? There we go. So now, seems like we try to do the same thing, except... Well, this time it's more awkward because you do get this started. Well, no, this is just... I don't know, I can't actually push the way I want. I want to do this, and then maybe I can do this. Like, it doesn't seem like this level is about the, the green interaction. We just do it just like this. It's just taking advantage of the fact that only the thing on the ground is the thing that pushes here. And there we go. Cool. Okay. Get, get it? Okay, no, 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 no. Just don't. Anyway. The thing at the bottom is not correct. I need to somehow make it look up, which means the reposition is needed. But not from here, I think. Something's wrong because I can't seem to reposition uh, from here. I need to be completely vertical. Also this thing, I'm not sure what's, what it's for. I'm trying to maybe reposition this, but considering this is very stuck, I'm not sure if we can do that. Um, a, a good position is actually maybe if this was pointing down. Maybe? Yeah, that looks good if it was pointing down. Uh, which means putting this underneath here. Though, I don't know if I can do that. Hmm. Uh, can this get it past? I feel like there's a problem here. Yeah, no. Hmm. Okay, this is, I think this is what I want to see. It's, whoop, whoops, not like that, but it pointing down is definitely quite good. Uh, and then here. Yes, now all I want to do is push this over here. And now when I do this, it's going to look at me and that's going to point up, which is where we want it to be. So that's nice. Oh, okay. Elephant. Okay. So, well, first of all, those things uh, seem to want to trigger immediately. This, 
I mean, we need to reorient those, right? Something like that, except this one needs to face, like, down or something. Um, maybe switch the positions a little bit, because it kind of feels like the one on the right wants to go, like, here. Just don't notice that it locks the position, like, if, assuming this wasn't there, then pushing this would lock it and make it green. It's just that apparently this is coming in first, so I can't do that easily. Not sure why there's an extra space here, by the way. Um, I put it there, right? No, but there's still something wrong with that, is we don't want it to flip. Any move like this would be nice to make a not flip happen. That looks like a good idea. You just set it up. So, just as a reminder of what I'm doing, I want to use, I think the middle slot is something I need to use or something like that because I can't do the space. I can't get the spacing good any other way. So now I'm thinking about moving this away, but I don't want that to happen. So something about moving this out of the way feels like it's needed. I can't move this out, uh, but I can move it here. And that should, that should displace it, right? Yes, okay, and now... Oh, there's, did I do the order wrong? The whole point was so I could do that. Oh, oh, okay, there we go. There we go, and now just this one. So my idea was correct, and we didn't mess the order up after all. M. So, let's see. We have three of these, and we'd probably like one of them to stick so we could push one to the other side. However, this one isn't down. We need to get it to down to do that. But we can't share one, and so this one will need to go to the right, but I've already seen myself from doing so. Um, how about we make the left one, leftmost one here? Oh, well, that isn't great. That isn't great because we want the rightmost one. We should move the, uh, we should, like, move the, this piece away. What happens if we, if two, two of them are looking at the same thing? Nothing? Okay. So, if, if two of them are looking at the same thing, neither can become green, and the thing on the ground shakes. So, there we go. That's how we do it. End. Is the boss? Is that why that has appeared? What? Hi. Okay, you don't like the order, huh? So I see the order is like on the top right or something. Huh. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want from me? Hmm. I mean, I know there was like an- the intro cutscene had some certain thing, right? Do I have to go back in there and look, and look at the order or something? So there was an intro cutscene at the beginning of the game, and I'm pretty sure, well, it just feels like this is what we need. Down, up, down. Down, up, down. Down, up, down. Down, up, down, question mark. Right, left. Okay. Well, down, up, down, down, up, down. Uh, I already forgot. Right, left. Up, down, down, up. Well, first of all, they're going from left, uh, from right to left, so I don't know if that's gonna mess with it, but... Yep, there we go. Nice intro cutscene. <laughs> yeah, I just... That didn't take long to realize. Uh, but, okay, now we have this. Chapter 2, Kamats. We got three of them now. Oh, do we have to memorize this cutscene too? There's a, like, uh, message. The speech bubbles have stuff on the bottom right, the left. I'm not gonna remember these. Okay. But I, I will assume this is for the next bonus section then. Okay. So, that's chapter two. It's coming up. Let's, let's just get a peek at what this mechanic is. Oh. Uh, is it Diag? <laughs> Completely sure, actually. Huh. What is that symbol? Th that's an alpha symbol at the bottom, I think. 
this is already a weird puzzle. It, well, first of all, the color speed is obviously different. But, uh, I do not see a way to solve it from right here. Oh, 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 it's the diagonal. It's finally the, the diagonal trick. <laughs> and there we go. Okay. B A B A. Okay, no, no, no. That's it's not that video. Uh, so uh, elephant. Apparently, this is the diagonal section. So I'm gonna hit one of these. The uh, I don't even know what to call this. This other symbol rotates to face me. So I think I need to get it diagonally to me. Okay, it's like this, I believe. So now it diagonally will face this target, and now it'll lock, and I can just press to uh, to win. Okay, so, I guess it's because this is World 2, I'm going to put up the rules here. I don't know if I'm just going to keep them on screen for a while, but anyway, step on a yellow symbol turns white, and we turn all symbols white. So, yeah. So, if I move this down, it connects, but I don't actually want to connect, I think, so I'm going to hit this. And now it'll actually connect diagonally, which I'm not sure I want either, because it will get stuck uh, as they can move symbols around. This is another thing that I didn't really mention in the rules, that, like, the symbols can be pushed around even though they connect and are sticky in this way. Um, yeah. This is because the rule discovery game, the rules they picked are not very easy to describe. I mean, I think the goal is that we don't want this to connect at all, so we put it here, and it doesn't go diagonal, it doesn't go straight, so then it's just fine to move. But then if you go straight now, and that means I can push it in, and there we go. Okay, so yeah. Oh my, I don't know the order of these, <laughs> so I'm just gonna do them in a random order then. So, okay. I know this is theta, but that definitely really doesn't come after um, whatever that was, but anyway. Uh, this is a very weird symbol. It must go diagonally, actually, wherever that is, because... Like, uh, that's a problem. So, I don't want this to change if I'm going to set that diagonal, which probably means, uh, we're going to use a different symbol. That still didn't work at all. Hmm. I was trying to push that in. Hmm. Something's off here, because this one isn't moving. Perhaps this one might move due to just the stickiness properties, but this one can't move. Back to the starting position, I, I think maybe I want something like this, and... Well, no. Um, my goal was to get this to connect. I'm not sure what that would do, but like it lets me reorient this from a different spot, and that's maybe something I want to see. Or actually could push it from a range, actually. Okay, hold on. We will need to have some of the faces left, which is a problem because when I do that, it kind of goes... No, I can't actually push it past, which is good. Okay, now I have this connected, and what I want to do is use the extra symbol to push it ex to push it in an extra direction, right? Like, although it still isn't working, like I want to do something like wow, wait, that's not even where the symbol is. It doesn't work. Hmm. Of course, we can't get it stuck. So what do we do? We can push that out of the way. Okay, that's very different. So, like everything else I was doing before. Um, I don't know if we get the stuck. Okay, well, probably the best idea there is that we just never get that stuck at all then, if that's possible. Okay, that is absolutely not the direction I thought this would go, but that's a nice solve. Wait, a, wait, a, wait. No, no, no. Not, that, not directly down. This way, and then stick it. Oops. Um, one back. Wait, what? This needs to face this orientation for sure, but I do not want it to reorient afterwards. So, hmm. Now I need to get this out of the way, and there's probably some easier way I'm, I'm missing about that one. Okay, how about we keep that one in the middle for now, so we can do that. And there we go. Okay, way easier. Well, uh, the last part was easier than I thought. Um, so, next one. So, well, probably both of them have to face something like that. Oh, probably facing the exact same way too, so I can do that and win. But the thing is that I only have one ability to change that, I think. I can't, like, push this around. And, there, and I believe there's no way to extract one of these once I've connected it. So, 
Maybe like we connect one and then do the the whole trick again. And then connect the other one. That would make sense if one of them is locked, but ordering seems wrong here because I can't get this moved. Like obviously if there was a passage underneath here, I could just bring this over and win, but it turns to not that. And going through here will activate the white. I swear, when the blue becomes darker, like when it slowly idly animates, I think it's a different meaning, but it's not at all. One thing I want to do is use like range diagonal somehow, but I'm not sure how. Like, I see that you can do this and get the one on the right to be like this. But the problem with that is, of course, I'm going to do the same thing here. I can't move anything. I'm just stuck, so I don't know. Wait, hold on, hold on. There's something very suspicious because if I had the ability to access this now, I would win. Not from here, though. This must be some sort of, like, thing where you try to get both of them in the same slot again, and you use this to avoid hitting it or something, right? Well, no, because this one is stuck. Well, this thing can do that, but this doesn't seem good. Let's try on the other side. Well, the thing with the other side is that you can't actually do it this way, because it's a little, a little long there. Wait, 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 this position is actually good, though, because it allows- it adds an extra, uh, white, which means you can get it from the diagonal. Okay, okay, that's cool. Very cool. Wasn't what I expected what the solution would be, either, so yeah. Um, I believe the middle was actually the main line in previous- in the previous world, so probably should have been here first, but, eh, <laughs> anyway. So, we got this. I don't want to set it a very far range diagonal like that. Wait, that gets stuck. I don't know. Yeah, because now that it's yellow, it means that this will face to look diagonally. I don't know if I like that or not. Oh, wait. No, that's that's barely not diagonal though. Oh, but now it won't connect, so it can make it diagonal here. Okay, that's nice. Nice to see that. But this is now screwed up. I've Made that happen too early, I think. Hit that first, so now it'll be now it won't connect. I'm gonna do this, and it'll be diagonal. However, maybe straight. Yes, straight is where I want to. Want to. Ah, it hits that really. Um, hmm. let me get this to face here. Maybe um, we try the other way. Yes. Okay. Now that's some cool. That's a nice design there. Okay, one is, well, we got three symbols here. This one is stuck and will need to change. Looks like we got a very sticky situation here. That one, okay. that's interesting that you can cause a chain in some way, because that, that hit and then it immediately got that one turned yellow as well. Might have to use that behavior, maybe not. But anyway, we have the symbol, and that is to, like, direct here. Okay, what if... Okay, it was nice that when I'm in, the, in this position, this is almost like it sees this perfectly, just this is screwed up. So maybe, um... No. How do I make this on? I think... Diagonal is definitely needed for this one, whatever it is, because I don't really see a situation where the final, uh, the final yellow symbol is over here, and then I press it to make a turn. That doesn't seem real to me. I mean, I'll try it anyway. I'll just put it here. Well, no, that that doesn't look like it works to me. Yeah, it doesn't. Of course, it'd be nice if something was below, but we can't do that. Our first move has to be connecting something to the top, because that's the only way that something can be re- uh, that the other circles can be reoriented. Um... This. Well, I was trying to- for some reason, kept trying to get this to trigger onto that, but that's not really what I'm going for. Uh, actually, we can get this off to the side a bit. And wait, does this actually just win it? Yes, it does. Alright, there we go. It was different than I thought. Uh, game likes to do those. 
somehow. Those thing, uh, solutions that surprise me. Anyway, so we have this. Three of them, and obviously we need to push one of them down. Not sure if it's gonna be easy, though. How do I push some of these down? Uh, I think only a diagonal could ever do that. First of all, one thing definitely has to come up from this orientation. And then the next one, I want a diagonal. And then the diagonal to like, push this down. Well, this is only to the side, which isn't great. Hmm. Okay, so how about something else? I would like to not have that happen. How about here? No, that's to the side. I want to get past it. How about like here? Oh no, why is it why is it to the side? Must have done by accident. The way I'm envisioning it is like there's some diagonal here that I push down, and then the middle one is the one that goes down, maybe? And then for the final step, I would actually need the other the other symbol to come down as well. So this is symmetrical to the left position, I think. Uh, I want to do this. I want to obtain one of these, but, I, but if it's that one, then it's stuck. And if it's that one, then moving into the, uh, moving this to try to move this would be stuck. Hmm. Wait, can't I pull this down? I almost feel like I remember this overlap, uh, idea in another game, but I don't remember. Uh, because this is a familiar feeling. But I think this, the, whatever we put on top is actually not stuck there. I can push down on it if I use the diagonal, and that must be the trick here. So, let's that to happen. <laughs> okay, here we go. There is that. But still, how do I move stuff? I guess... Because I, I can't move it... I can't overlap this and this and have the contrivance happen. So, I mean, I can use that and then move it down another time with another... No, not, not like this. I was hoping I could move it down once more. Uh, you know, I think it must be that we're actually, like, doing this. Right? The other way of the diagonal, which isn't intuitive, but it feels like the only way this could work. Oh my gosh. So I had this in the background for so long, um, trying to think of something, and it's not, it doesn't seem like diagonal is actually needed. Like, this is another thing I think I overcomplicated, because you can just move it here. Although, I don't know how to move the top down. Well, that just means that I have to keep the one in the middle and the other one is down, right? Okay. I thought diagonal was needed. That's why I thought. Um, I still have an issue here. But yeah, I hope I can just move one of these pieces downwards. The problem is I don't know how to move this just to the right because this will connect and we don't want it. So um, if I do that, then I'm going to hit this. Like, no matter what, I seem to hit this palette. So this doesn't work. I'm trying to isolate the middle here. So, I mean, I've been looking at this puzzle for a while. And I found a new idea. Well, a new thing I can do here. I didn't think about before. It's like, I changed this. And even though I got something stuck to the wall, I'm actually going to grab it here. And maybe that can help. I can bring it back for one. But I can't easily... Like, go up here and move it down. Maybe I should pick a di diagonal or something like that. To really get this to work. But, okay. So, like, we can even do diagonal here. Although, we would be probably not want to connect it. Get it? Connect it? No, no, no one was going to get that. Uh, actually, th that diagonal would be really great. We just don't want this connection to happen. Uh, nope, no, here. Okay, I think we finally got it. Or something. And moving it down is just doing this. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. That was really hidden to me. I That was the first puzzle I think of. It was so hard that I had to go back and uh, and solve it later. But anyway. I don't feel like I've made a mistake with the order I chose to play the levels. But anyway. Let's see. We can... Okay. Well, of course we can get the... Get these to stack. A circle on top of a symbol. I feel like I've messed up the start, though. I mean, don't we want this to turn, uh, well, turn a good direction? Okay, fine. Wait, wait, what? We need to trigger the, um, we need to trigger that at the very bottom. It's currently yellow, but we need it to be white. So it looks like we're gonna have to move this symbol or something. I can't push that. 
we're gonna need to move this using the symbol and actually it'll probably look like um uh, it'll probably look like this we're doing a left push to get this out of the way hmm. even if it's diagonal it is a left push by the way um do we like put it off to the side or something just so that it doesn't actually trigger anything for now or something like that we do that that's not really great though um, here maybe no but the problem is it's gonna trigger when i do this so that's not good uh, just diagonal, right? Okay, diagonal's gonna work. So we push this out of the way, and there we go. So, kind of overcomplicated how many things were possible there, but there we go. Next. Hmm. Well, a lot of these are seemingly stuck on the wall. We're going to want to move this... We're gonna want to move this to the right, I think. And to do that... I think I need another symbol's help, but this one is stuck. Well, no, it's not actually stuck, is it? Because there's still strategies we could try to move it to the left and then unstuck it, right? Oops. Here, and now I set it on the diagonal. And now I hope that I can get this up. And <laughs> there we go. That's probably progress. Now, we want it off the wall. And for this, we want it to push it to the right. How do we do that? It's just as simple as... Doing this in here, then doing that, and then moving right, which will push all the symbols to the right. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's do some of the extras. We have something stuck at the very top left. Um, it looks like we got all the symbols, supposedly, but everything is actually deeply in the way. If this was the way to go, which I don't think it will be, but if it is, then it's going to face this sort of direction. Right, and then we're stuck now, because we can't get that out of the way. That's not good. And that implies that we're actually going to, like, try to keep that facing upwards the whole time. But how do we do that? I guess there'll be some way that we get everything out of the way or something. Oh, this is hard to think about. Everything needs to get out of the way here. Let's see if you can do that and get this symbol out of here, which is interesting, but I need to do more than that. I think I'm pretty convinced that that needs to stay looking upwards, because even though I can do ridiculous stuff like this, where you have the chain of the symbols causing other symbols to move, which causes the circles to move, we have ruined the rotation of this. So I need to do something else, but I don't know what. Oh, duh. Like... I don't know, I knew that I needed to get in the blue circle to the left of this, but I don't know why I didn't just do that. <laughs> okay, but I, I've discovered it now. Okay, so yeah, because we needed this on top of this to push all this down, we had to do that. I just didn't realize that was possible in that situation, even though I knew it had to happen there. And now, I can do that. And what about the rest? Is it just easy, or do I have to do more? Um, looks like it's just easy. I can just press everything, right? And there we go. Very nice. Next one. So it looks like we need the symbol to get pushed over here so that that can see it. Look at the animation of this. Okay, so when I do that, it triggers stuff. It shouldn't matter that it triggers stuff, I think. Hmm. Well, we're going to need to set this up right. I don't know if I need to get this. I think I need to because otherwise the symbol won't work. I can push the symbol, but that will lock it in place, which isn't good. Also, this might be another puzzle where it has to stay here because I don't see a way that circle is going to stay looking directly down left if I ever touch one of these, so I'm not going to touch one of them. However, that means that I'm going to have to use this or something hmm, in order to move these to the right, I think, without ever triggering a symbol. If we are not touching one of these, then this has to stay in the same rotation, meaning it will always be facing down. So is that the first move that's forced then? Still can't do this or this move though, which isn't great. How is how is ever gonna move up, honestly? How about that? Well, we do this. Okay, that is split them, which is a good thing temporarily, I think. Currently, I'm not caring about the status of the symbol I just dropped. Maybe I should. But if it's split like that, it should 
Hypothetically, we should be able to use it well. Like, we can push it against here now. Well, no, that's not really what we want. What we want must involve the other circle. We, like, get this above. It's all fine. Sort of like... Nope. We actually the symbols blocking the way there, which is annoying. Um, okay, I have an idea. So, why didn't we do this at first? Well, it's because it connected, and that's not good. But this is ultimately a move we want to make because it can allow us to. Well, if that didn't stick in there, uh, but but it would allow us to get this out and ultimately win the level if we did that. So I'm going to do the first thing. Well, the first trick of the level. Where we get uh, these displaced and moving these the other way. And then I think maybe I reverse the whole process. So... No, not without connecting, obviously. Connecting bad. Uh, no, not like this still. We're still blocking the way to the next path, which is not good. Wow, the, physic the physicality really does not work here. I can't even get this out of the way to move that to the right. Maybe something like this. And in this position, well, the main important thing is that... No, I don't want it to... Wait, wait, do I want them to merge together? This is very close to the start, except the other symbol isn't blue. And... Okay, wait, maybe this is it. As I do that, but now we have separated the pieces, I hope. So around here. Okay, this is, I believe, what I want to see. Nope, nope, hold on. Just go here instead. Okay, okay. That took a while. That took a freaking while. Oh my gosh, that it's those pieces are deceptively hard to maneuver. Um, off camera, that took like at least like tons of idle time and probably over twenty minutes. So okay, let's do this. I really find that step is quite loud um, compared to every other sound, but anyway. So what do we have here? These are all facing down, and it's kind of hard to see they're facing down, but all the blue circles are facing down. Gee, did I have to say that so many times? So, I don't know. Like, I probably need to do one of these to reorient, and then one of the pieces goes in here, because it needs to hit that. I don't know how it's going to look. Is it going to look straight up? That would make some sense, actually, if it looks straight up. And then, I guess another piece would... How does that actually move up? I guess the only way for whoops for that to happen is you use another like a piece like this to help, right? And then somehow this makes it move up because uh, I can't push it up normally because I would get uh, I would cause a rotation, which isn't good. Okay, so what's wrong with that? Well, we probably need probably would want to use the diagonal, except the problem using the the normal diagonal is actually that if it's here, then it will block the path when I try to win. Also, like, because there's already symbols on top, I can't actually slide it under or something. Hmm. Well, the other idea would be that, like, one of the symbols is like this, and then we push the other symbol, and then that's the one that connects, but I really don't think that we can, uh, move just the symbol around. It just looks impossible to me that one of the, the, the other blue symbol is the one moving, because, like, we don't have the ability to really move it that far. Hold on, but this has no restrictions, like... Okay, no, no, the first symbol we could pick might not be, um... It could be just entirely horizontal. And then that would be an excuse for stuff to shift, right? And now I... Well, I hope... Well, I hope that I'm able to push this, but it's not working. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have this set up. And now this is pointing to the upright. I'm hoping this is something that will allow me to... No. Hmm. In fact, not many things can actually do this, huh? Not many orientations can go and push this to the right side. Okay, uh, it looks like I was wrong. Well, I think I'm wrong about the, the one on the very right not hitting this. I think it does hit this, but I was wrong about how we couldn't move it from afar. We actually, I think we need another circle to do this. We just need to move it uh, in a chain. So one of these it goes like it's it hooks onto it from here, and will end up being positioned around here. 
Let's try to get a diagonal going. Like that. And then the other one will also be a diagonal, I think. Um, or maybe it'll be that on the reverse. No, I want it on the other end. I don't know how to do that. Um, I mean, I'll probably need the other one to help with the angle. So, now it's facing the right way. And now for what? Wow, that freaking hits it. Ugh, this, this is gonna be tough to orient. Okay, here. That is the kind of thing that I want to see, I think. Because now I do that, and then I push, and then I pull the entire thing upwards like that. Wait. Wait, how is that gonna face up? Hold on. Make it face up. Then do that so it connects, and there we go. Now, wait a minute. Uh, is that, why is that yellow? Okay. There shouldn't be anything. Um, I think I just need to trigger this earlier on. So there we go. Just turn everything like that yellow, and then we have it. Okay. It was cool to think about that puzzle. I had to think about it. Um, uh, the order is wrong here, I think. Do that. Do that. Pull. And there we go. Wait. This is getting very awkward. There we go. It's so hard to see that the rotate, uh, how the rotation is happening, right? But I only screwed up the rotation, and uh, now I didn't screw up the rotation. So then, there's... I really commentate in a way that makes it sound like I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, anyway, next level. This level looks kind of familiar to a previous one. Only one of these is connected so far, and they're all facing down by default. But down by default sees absolutely nothing right now, so I feel like I shouldn't be doing that. Um, hmm. This one feels very stuck to the top, right? No, it's the top left, not top right, fool. <laughs> um, anyway. So probably one of these wants to see diagonally, I just don't know which one. And it can, like, reorient some of these. Now, I don't know if that's good, because this one, we maybe we'll want to push it to the right if it's valid, but we can't do it. And we can try to get the top left one to connect here. Maybe that's decent. Some way. It's actually possible to move this over to the side a little bit. And, like, that's actually interesting, right? Because I can move it here. Don't know what to do with anything else, though. Can we do that? Set it to bottom, uh, set that to look at here, and then this thing, hold on, it doesn't look right, but doesn't this let me do something? Like, then I connect to it, and then push it away. That's interesting. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright. Wait. Why, why is the moment so awkward when I realized I didn't get all the whites? Anyway, I took like, um... Yeah, I don't know, like, two extra minutes of off-camera time, but anyway. Now we have a level that's literally called O at the bottom right. That's the interesting thing. So these are pointing to the right, and this was pointing to the left, the circle. Um, I mean, if I do this, then it gets stuck, which is good. But this is the other one that isn't stuck, the left one. I can't get it off the wall, so how do I fix that? Can't move past there, so something needs to like something needs to basically be triggered here. Does does one have to be like sacrificed here? Doesn't look good either. This how it's gonna get out, really. But it would change the orientation, so that's nice. Hmm. And this one's stuck to the wall. I feel like it's not getting out. Whatever the situation of this is, one of the what the symbol is not like just leaving here. This doesn't make sense. Well, actually, could leave there. It would need to face all the way to the right, though. Like, if this was facing just directly right, then I could move the symbols if I just moved left from there because it would connect to the symbol, but we can't do that right now. Hmm. One thing that's interesting is that this seems to be there just so that I can't make it face down, which is, like, one way that we could potentially get things over to the other side. So does that just mean that one thing is locked here? And then we would say the other one is down... And that would connect to it. But the thing is, of course, then we would need to do something about the other blue circle, which is locked. Can't get out. Okay, I have no idea what's going on at this level. It looks completely impossible to me. You can't get this one out. It would be nice if something was facing right and connected to this, but we can't seem to do that. I don't know how to get this, um, this piece to connect to here. 
because we can't switch this direction very easily and maybe something would be like on here but i don't know i don't know what to do with this level i'm going to cut in footage from a later session if i can solve it but right now i can't i have no idea what's going on even after staring at the puzzle powers anyway see ya let's check out the pie level i think i recognize that symbol and okay so uh what is that what are the symbols there Obviously, I need to get to them in some sort of order. That's the, what makes sense after all, but... Hmm. And hitting the same one... Oh, that does... Wait, what? What just happened there? Oh, I, just, I hit the same one and it counts for multiple. I guess that makes some sense. Hmm. Nope, that was not correct. This is... Obviously, you have to get something from the cutscene. But I don't know what that... What it means. This is six of them. Actually, things don't update when you do that. Uh, like, is there a cap of the amount that you can look at or something? Five, six, oh. Seemingly an infinite amount? Don't know what this one is. This is the cutscene I'm trying to follow again. It's bottom right, left, middle, bottom right, top left. Oh, assuming that this, these random head movements don't mean anything. So, the dot, I assume, is like... I guess the dot is properly reflected here. It's on the bottom right. So that should be fine, but we still need a middle somewhere. And the thing is, like, don't we hit, like, four of these? This is another confusing thing, because there's four dot things in the cutscene, yet I obviously need to hit at least five of these. So what is going on there? I'll probably have to splice this in again, eat two, because I don't know how four fits into five like that. Anyway, next world. I figure I should also, uh, do the levels that I haven't done, just to end off this. This is the level that was added um, after I tested it um, in that previous session. I This one, clearly you have to move this upwards in some way, so one of them is like diagonal. Um, you gotta use that, probably set it up here. That faces up now. Maybe we should make it face down. Yeah, okay. Let me bring it out. So this piece can now move upwards. Um, getting it would here we get it stuck though. It can't move to the right, so I need to go in here and do something to displace it. Uh, actually, missed stuck there, or or did I? Yeah, I can't move that. Hmm. This is very unsatisfying that I can't do that. Um. Do we do it from here, and then move one up? Still, there's something in the way. Second idea, and this is probably the better one, is you get it on the diagonal, at, like this, and then connect it. Can we get both of them out, or is that not possible? Um, but the whole point is that you do this and... Oh, it just... Okay, that's what that's for. For some reason, I have the intuition that this is not correct, that this structure moves up both of them move up at once but no of course it just like ignores the space and i guess that makes sense too like it just ignores the symbol effectively and there we go and then this which i didn't complete oh it's different now well a bunch of pieces this one should push to the right it seems so we need one that's harmless effectively these it's hard to see but this one's pointing left and this one's pointing down so we can get that out of the way. That one auto-connects here, which may not be great. Um, if we can get this to the side without the connection, that might be nice, too. We also have, like, um, not that this move. And if I get, could get this to to the side and then do this, but without the issue of connection, maybe that's, like, the intention of the puzzle. Then, like, you do that and push that to the right, and that seems like what we'd want to do for the diagonal. Although we still need a connection that hasn't been, uh, yet fulfilled. Hmm. Do that. That diagonal feels very suspiciously bad. So, can we just, like, connect this one and the other one, keeping their original positions? Isn't that kind of good? Because we can even, like, get that to the diagonal spot. Oh, come on. Please. No, no, I can do that. Then don't touch it until now. Then it connects and there we go. 
Okay, and the final one. Right, this is the one I still couldn't figure out because I'm a dummy. Um, it's probably using something I don't know. Or rather, haven't thought about yet. Oh my gosh, it was this move! Okay, I was just screwing around. I guess this is what the achievement I just unlocked was. I There wasn't, um... There wasn't an achievement uh, when I was testing, but there are now. Okay, that is cool. I was like, oh, this diagonal seems significant. Now I finally understand, because I put this situation here. And yeah, the <laughs> two of them are trying to link at the same time, so none of them link up. And that's the entire freaking puzzle. So, all right. Now I just have to make sure that this all works out, though, as I do want one to link up to the very right side. Pretty sure. I do that, and then here, whoops, here, here, okay. It really does just take a second sitting, and I really don't know what is up with this boss puzzle. I should probably recheck it, but I'm slightly lazy. <laughs> I don't know if the payoff is enough for that. Anyway, 